Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Neverland. This is a map by Rastaman, 184.39 megabytes to download. Um, it looks like it is for all platforms, so there you guys go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the description. We'll take a look around the map. So it says, greetings from Neverland. Everything you need to start comfortable farming. On the map, you'll find a large cow shed for 120 cows with a feeding machine, large sheep fold for 100 sheep, 22 large fields for good yields, 26 farmlands, biogas plant, forests, USA map with dynamic terrain with ocean, plains, and mountain environment. Great redemption prices and a mountain hotel, but harder to access. Uh, perfect for multiplayer and try it and have fun. So there we go. Um, okay, here we are. Let's hop in the menu here. We are, where are we at? Down right there. This is our starting farm, it looks like. Uh, yep, chunk four there. Can't buy all the peripheral area, just the fields and such. There's something in there. Oh, we also own also all this up here and that up there. So we have quite a bit of stuff actually going on for us. Yeah, definitely comfortable to start doing this right now. Um, and that's the it's Gold Crest Valley there. I'm is that where the train actually goes? I'm kind of curious now. Um, they did say there was a hotel point that was harder to access. Um, I'm curious where that is going to be at. Um, train station, biomass there. Sawmills up there. A loft. Business hotel. So maybe that's it up there. Okay. We'll kind of see. Maybe there's some crazy train up there. Uh, but yeah, a lot of different stuff going on on the map. A lot of different production chains and everything everywhere you would need. Um, looks like these greenhouses are going to be probably ours since we own this chunk of land here. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Um, everything here looks pretty normal. No different crops or anything. If we go down to the bottom here, uh, nothing new in there or different. Quite a bit of sturdy equipment. We'll take a look at that in the store in a minute. Start off with $100,000 in new farmer mode. Uh, no starting loan. We do have a cow barn uh, with feeding robot, pigsty, chicken coop, sheep barn, and horse barn. Uh, we do have contracts in the fields we do not own. And then we do have some production. So we have a manure production that is currently running right now, uh, right off the bat going for us. Uh, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, five greenhouses. We have a spinnery, grain mill, bakery, dairy, oil mill, sugar mill, and tailor shops. We own everything starting out, which is great. Um, and then, yeah, going in here, we have 100 collectibles you can collect if you'd like to. I'm going to turn that off. Um, and then I'm also going to turn that off down there. We'll go back up here. Um, I'm going to fast forward time just up to about noon, just to make it a little bit easier to see around the map as we're going through it. And right about there should be good. I'm already making money because of our BGA. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at our starting equipment before we walk around. So... We start off with a Fent 1050 and a John Deere 7R350. We have a Max Superliner 6x4 truck. We also have a John Deere X9 1100 harvester. We also have a beet harvester, the Tiger 6L by Ropa. Uh, we have the Corona Big M450 for a mower. We have a header for the John Deere. We have a header for the beet cutter. Uh, we have a large cultivator, large cedar. This one's not a direct drill. Large planter. This one is a direct drill. Um, large roller. Big old manure spreader there for us. Um, Slurry tank set up here, Samson uh, slurry tank there. Uh, big tether, big windrower, big, uh, is that another? Oh, sorry, yeah, look just similar to that. Uh, that's a board twig in there. Uh, a couple of balers, two balers in there. Uh, two bale loaders and a trailer. Um, we have a milk and water herbicide and liquid fertilizer tank there. Front loader attachment for one of our tractors and a pallet fork to go with it. And then finally a header trailer there. So we have pretty much everything we could ever imagine. and. That's what we have. There's our sleep trigger right there. We go ahead and put our map on and walk around the corner here. Maybe around the other way. It's the actual road into this place. Yeah, right over here. So here's our main farm area right here. I believe. Yes. Okay, I'm not crazy. BGA looks like it's in here as well. Um, over here we have a repair trigger for us to use. We'd like to use that. So we have a way station here, which is kind of nice. Nice silo. Um, we'll come back up that side. We have a fuel tank here, and then we have, of course, our BGA, big old bunker silo to use, uh, which is quite nice. That looks like the a manure point there. Slurry point there. And here's our cow arm with a feeding robot. Looks like that. It's going to be right here. Oh, there's a... There we go. Nice little cow there for us. That was a collectible cow, I guess I should say. Another collectible cow. How can I not pick it up? Anyhow. Don't collect looks like they're fairly obvious, which is very nice. I'm sure some of them will be more difficult to find. Truck and trailer ready to go there. There's our cow barn, of course. 
Um, all of our, it looks, not all of it maybe, but most of it looks like it's right in here. Huge line of all of our equipment there. And then over here, we have a pig. Another pig. If I can get to it, I'm not going to worry about it. Another pig right there. I can pick that one up. That'll make me feel better. Okay. Uh, lots of pigs through here. <laughs> Goodness. Um, yep. Yeah, so, pig farm, 270 pigs right there. And then over here we have chickens, which we also have a nice little harvester for us to collect. I'm getting all sorts of collectibles. I'm having a blast. Um, and yes, here's our chickens right here. And that's pretty much what is on this starting farm area down here. Um, we do have a couple sell points on it. Or no, those are hayloffs. Hayloffs. We can put hayloffs down at that corner uh, down there. So, uh, we do have those. I'm surprised we didn't start off with a pickup truck, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, so what I actually am going to do, because I do kind of want to start down here. I have store delivery mods installed. I'm just going to go ahead and purchase us a pickup truck so we can drive around the map a little easier. There we go. Okay. And then we'll actually drive down and take a look at the uh, where the haylofts are at down here. And there's kind of like a road that goes around behind it, it looks like. Yeah. It works its way out into that area there. Fenced in area. And then, yep, here is our haylofts over here. I could not take that corner to save my life. Um, so we have some haylofts over here. I'm not sure if they only take... Oh, no, look like... Maybe they only take hay and straw at those two. Could be, could be the way it's set up. And then right behind our farm, we have a bowling alley. Boy, if I live that close to a bowling alley in real life, I'd be in trouble. I'd be over there bowling all the time. Um, I do like to bowl. And then over here, it looks like we have the diner um, as a sell point. So uh, let's see here. Red Marble Bowling. And then, yeah, well, fast food restaurant, not the diner. Sorry. Um, and then we'll just head up over out this way. And then we'll get a fly over everything. And then we'll kind of see if we can hop on the main road. And then uh, probably hit all this stuff here, go up around, and then maybe end out down over here. So we'll try to do that. I think that'll be a good... I think that'll be a good plan of action here for us. I'll head up this way. Beautiful map, though. I really like this map. Um, for me personally, I think they start with too much equipment, which some people like that. And if that's your style of gameplay, that's A-OK. -okay. For me, I like to kind of have like a challenge and try to build up usually is what I like to do. But not always, but that usually is what I like to do. We're passing by a couple things on almost borderline on the highway here. Where are we at? Right over here. Yeah, we'll hit those. Well, you know what? We should hit them right now. I should have gone all the way up. So Grain West, there's the Grain South. Pretty straightforward for us to see those here. And then what is this point right here? Is this the rent train? Yep. Yep, there we go right there. There's the rent train point. And then we have, the course, the Grain Silo. And then over here we have the Valley Energy. That's the only other thing that we have up over here. And then the train. I don't know where this train goes. Super curious about that. Because the point is off to our left. Oh, it goes maybe through here? I don't know where it goes. Here's the uh, biomass area, though. But it may go actually underground. Yeah, it looks like that's where it's going to go. Yep. Oh, it just goes into nothing. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's there and it's working, that is A-OK. -okay. Let's get on the main, <clears throat> excuse me, the main road here. Oh, geez. That was a little bit rough there. Head up this way. So, yeah, nothing until we get up here. Yeah, we got a couple of yeah, a couple of points up here. A lot of stuff going on up here, actually. That guy got over. And once we get up here, our farm's kind of off to the right. You can see the little signs for the bowling alley, which is great. I love it. Um, and here we are, starting to get into town. The dairy's on the left-hand side there. Debris crusher, right-hand side. Right there. Then we have a fuel station and the vehicle shop. Vehicle shop's right there on the left-hand side. You can see the vehicle station. A little vehicle shop for us. And I'm going to head a little further. I actually might might just keep going up when we hit this on that way down. I don't know. Well, there's just the railroad silo over here, isn't there? And then feed and grain. We can hit that on a flyover. Fire station right here. Is there actually a cell point? There's a rent train point there. Then there's the grocery mart cell point, which is going to be right there on the left-hand side. We're going to head up this way. A little bank over there, it looks like, or something like that. Looks like, oh, we got the animal dealer. Yeah, animal dealer right here. Well, actually, it says cow pasture. Kind of interesting. I'm going to tag that. I'm going to go take a look at that. Is it like a cow pasture we can use? I don't think it is. But, uh... 
could be wrong. I wonder if it's just, I think it's just decorative for the cows. I think that's how they have to go about doing it to get them in like the animal pens like this or like hmm. have actual animals here. So I think that's what they're doing. I don't think it's a cow pasture we can actually access there. Um, but we do have the animal dealer and the animal dealer cell point just around the corner here. We just hopped out there. So we'll drive up around there to take a look at those. A lot going on on this map, honestly. It's got a lot of stuff. I was not expecting that. Um, there we go. Animal dealer there. Or no, animal dealer cell point over there. Animal dealer here. I'm actually going to go back out the top because just straight across the way, we have the grain mill, which I think we own. We seem to own most of the productions. Uh, maybe we don't own that one, though. But we own quite a few of the productions on here. And over here on this row... I think we're gonna to want to head straight up in a second. So we'll just, I'm just, just down this line. We have the tailor shop, sugar mill, cereal factory, oil mill, bakery, carpentry, and then back down to the dairy. And you can see all of that down that line there. So I'm not gonna drive down that way, but uh, you guys have seen those all before. Those are all just the standard buildings they're using and everything like that. Um, and then up here, we got, it looks like a lime station and then probably the farmer's market. You have Johnson farmer's market and then yeah, our little lime station there. Um, we're going to take a left. We'll take a look out here at the couple things out here, the sawmill and the bio, well, actually, biogas. We, we, is that the biogas we own? There's two biogas plants. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, that's a bigger one up there. So we own the smaller one down here, I'm assuming, because it's on our farm. Uh, we'll actually hit those in the flyover. We're going to take a right um, and go that way. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. I do try to make my map tours fairly quick, just because I want to give you guys a feel for the map. Um, that's kind of the purpose of a map tour, in my opinion, at least the map tours that I do. It's just to get, that is going to be hard to get up to that hotel. Good gravy. Look at that. That explains why you make more. Um, okay. So here we have ourselves. We get out and walk around a little bit. We have ourselves horses right here. We, of course, have horse collectibles to be collected. And we have our one, two, three, four, five greenhouses. Another silo. Nice little storage barn here. Just mostly decorative, I think. Storage here, mostly decorative. I don't see your picture or anything there. And we have another uh, hayloft just up this way. And then... Great processing units up there. Um, I think we're going to head up that way because I want to go up there and take a look at that. And then I think we'll hit the rest of the map on a flyover, which is just a couple things down here and then um, a couple things down here. So I think that'll be easy easy to do in a flyover. And we'll probably get more out of it anyways. But I do want to try to get up to the stupid hotel because this looks amazing. I love that. I love that. <clears throat> that does explain why they were supposed to allegedly pay you more for things because they're way up there on the hill difficult to get to. So there's great processing and the great orchards there. He does it. Easy does it. Now it's honestly not that treacherous to get up here, but trying to pull a load of grain up here, that is that's a whole nother whole nother issue, I think. So oh, this looks great. Cell point right there. Then up here I think we have our sheep, don't we? Yeah, we have our sheep, and then we also have a spinner up here, which is very convenient. And we own that grass field, and then we do have some more of our equipment. Looks like our grass equipment's all parked up here, ready to go, which is kind of cool. I like that. So there we go. Let's actually hop out. Let's go for a flyover now. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, great area up here. Big old hotel area. I like that. That's fantastic. And a hotel that big would be probably pretty busy as well. Isn't that beautiful to be up there, just overlooking everything in the distance. That would be fantastic. So... I would want to stay at that hotel, which is great. Um, down here, this is our kind of our northern farm area. Got a nice little shed and everything down there. And I don't think we, do we own that. No, we don't own that chunk of land. Um, some fields through here. Some water up here. Here's another one of the BGAs. That's a one megawatt. So it's a, twice the size of ours, technically speaking, in terms of processing power. And over here, we have the sawmill, which I like. It's kind of like a little sawmill yard over here. I like that. Um, very nice. Over here we have the biomass. We know the train just kind of goes, um, actually it follows that strange underwater thing. It goes out, uh, oh, am I outside the map? I am. I actually got outside the map there. Nice little harbors and areas like that. Ship moving, yes it is, I like that. That's kind of cool, ships are moving around. Some little kind of touristy things out here. I would not want to take, honestly, most of these boats on this water. This looks like a lot of water for those small boats, but I could be wrong. Um, we got our starting farm down here. Going across over here, we have the Netherland Harbor. 
cell point right here. And then up over here, we have another cell point just in here. Which one is this one up over here? We have the Netherland Harbor there. And then we have the Feed and Grain South right there. There we go. Feed and Grain South. Let me head over this way. And main road's going across town. Fly over that here. Nice baseball stadium. I like that they grabbed that from uh, Goldcrest. Or not, what is it? Oh, gosh. I can't remember the uh, starting map now. Can't remember. It's over. Can't remember anything anymore. Um, but yeah, the starting American map. They grabbed it off of there. Elm Creek. There we go. Um, but yeah, this looks great. Great map. Um, yeah, fantastic. I think that's fantastic. So well done on it. But there you guys go. That is my map tour of it. That is Neverland. If you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.